My name is Mighty Beard, and we are back here on the Lame Craft server right in front of Bearded Provisions. And let me tell you, we have been doing the work. <laughs> Let's go in uh, because we have done a little bit of redesign, uh, kind of moving some stuff around. Uh, so our little pile of iron is no longer here. Uh, laying out some uh, some barrels, but we've got a bunch of stuff up for sale now. We've got Mending Books and Breaking 3, Aqua Affinity, Silk Touch, Fortune 3. By no means are we fully stocked, but we're close. And we've got a bunch of other empty barrels that we'll eventually be loading up. Uh, I've got to get a few more trap doors, but we are here in spawn because we've got to pick up mail. Uh, we... We ran out of some supplies at home, and uh, so what we needed to do was we made a deal with Jolly Juice. Jolly uh, provide it was was going to provide us with magma blocks and some nether wart in uh, in place of uh, some slime blocks, and then we've also made a deal with Excelsio uh, to provide us some gold. Whew. 33 blocks of gold. We got the magma blocks now. The nether wart. So good. Let's head home. All right. We are headed back home. And uh, yeah, we made a lot of progress here at the trading hall. We, we did, in fact, uh, decide to move the storage room up. So we're playing around with a few different ideas. Ooh. Oh, my God. Uh, excuse me? Um... <laughs> Am I having a zombie siege here on a mushroom island? This this can't happen. Uh, oh my god, there's so many of them. I <laughs> uh, we gotta take th there's there's gotta be at least 20, 30 of these guys. This uh, this is not how I thought the video was gonna go. Uh, let's let's sneak in here. Uh, there's really no room to sneak. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, I have no armor on. I have nothing of value. Let's, uh, let's sneak in here real quick and gear up. Okay. We can take this guy out. Uh, this is, this is, this is crazy. Uh, this is absolutely crazy. Why is there so many of them? When I heard zombie sieges were coming back, I was thinking, oh, you know, I mean, like, like ten of them. Well, that won't be too big of a deal. But oh my god! Oh, and they just took my good sword. Oh shoot! Well, at least the iron farm's working. Nope. Okay, they didn't take the good sword. All right, now, shield on. Actually use the shield this time. Oh my god. This is absurd. Okay, is there any more? I've got so many villagers over here. I'm so worried now. Okay, well, these all seem to be okay. None fell over here. Okay, well, I was going to show this in the video. Uh, we did we did some stuff on stream. Uh, so we built a, a new uh, a new villager breeder over here. Um, and wow, uh, I can't believe that. Uh, I thought I was going to be safe from these zombie sieges. Well, anyways, new storage room. Um, all right, down here. Down here, we've been uh, working with uh, villagers, so re redesigning the whole the whole layout. Um, and then, uh, yeah, have been doing some work 
uh, basically turning turning villagers. Um, and yeah, so far, like these guys, they're not really communicating a whole lot as far as like sharing the good word. They're talking, obviously, but our prices aren't going down. Uh, these guys, though, Aqua Affinity for one, uh, one Emerald, Fortune three for one Emerald. So good. Uh, Unbreaking three, I think, yes, yeah, three. And then we've got a mending guy over here that has uh, six. But I might move him into one of these empty slots so that he can uh, he can talk. But uh, yeah, what we've been doing is down here. So villager breeder, uh, same same dem uh, same principle. Uh, the baby villagers fall down the hole, and then we catch them in a uh, in a little uh, little holding area. Once they uh, once they grow, we we go ahead and collect and uh, bring them out in the mine carts. And uh, yeah, we push them over. We push them over here. Uh, let them sit next to our friend, our zombie friend, and then uh, and then once once we're ready for them to uh, to move out uh, to start healing, we'll then hit that hit that lever. So let's go ahead, uh, let's go ahead and bring this guy, and let's let's hope it works. And we're gonna push them all the way. Okay, and then and then it's just a matter of like kind of getting out of the line of sight of the zombie. The zombie will eventually start hitting, start hitting the villager as long as he can't see us. But uh, this is uh, this has been a gamble. Um, fifty percent of the villagers, there's a fifty percent chance the villager will die by doing this. So um, we have lost, I think, three villagers so far. Yeah, and we just we just witnessed another one, another one losing. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's power the switch. Let's get that minecart back, and uh, try another one. All right, second villager is now in place, trying to stay out of view. I don't know how good of a job we are, but we want to make sure that the the uh, Zombie does not see us and only sees villager up. Oh, okay, and another one is dead. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Um, that definitely sounded like a death. Okay, all right. So villager is out. So now what I need to do is I need to sneak around. Uh, need to sneak around to the other side. So did not really think this through. Let's go ahead and get a minecart. Maybe we can just. Uh, Put them in minecart, cool. And then let's go ahead and flip this switch. That should send him on his way. Awesome. Okay. Now the only thing that we need to do is uh, hopefully get him up that hill. <laughs> okay. Uh, so up on this hill, uh, we will then go through the process of healing. So first, hurt. Second, heal. Throw a splash potion. Give him an apple. And then, uh, yeah, then we wait. We wait for uh, the, the, the vibration to end, the dancing to end, and uh, then we take him upstairs and start, uh, start trading. All right, as we can see, Villager is here. He has been healed. He has been healed. It is time to start rifling through these trades <laughs> uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, go through this process and hopefully eventually he will get a good trade maybe can you not see this there it is okay nothing good so the process of getting the trades that we want from these villagers is really time consuming it is uh, annoying uh, in, in a lot of ways because it's a lot of placing, uh, placing the lectern down, hoping that, uh, the librarian will pick it up, uh, and then will give us a trade. And it just, it just takes a long time so much so that I just got a trade right now that I'm considering, I'm considering it. And that trade is, whoops, wrong way, <laughs> projectile protection four. For one emerald. Now, projectile protection is not a great 
uh, it's it's not great by itself. Um, I don't know when it would really ever come into use. I know, I know personally, I wouldn't use it, but that doesn't mean everyone else on the server would be the same way. We might be able to sell some of those, and they're only costing us an emerald. So I, let's just do it. I say we, I say we do it. So we'll go ahead. Oh, why? All right, so we got ourselves an affinity trade for an emerald, and I usually try to hold off, but I think we got to go with it. Lock him in, and we will send him on his merry way. So in here, should take us right, right there. We can go ahead and uh, break all this apart and get him a lectern. So yeah, but I think that's going to end it for today. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to show you more, but uh, probably what we showed anyways is probably better. <laughs> the zombie siege on a, on a, a mushroom island. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> but that's it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and uh, yeah, subscribe. You'll get uh, notifications on every, every piece of content we put out there. I try to release uh, YouTube videos at least three or four times a week. So uh, yeah. Again, hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll play Minecraft again together very soon. Later!